Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back for another slime video. And the final video in the World Tour series for the Tempest Elite team. We are taking on the final Tempered Edge stage against Dark Veldora. Now, this Veldora is going to be a much bigger challenge than the previous Tempered Edges because of what he has. And he has 1.7 million HP. And uh, we know, based on all the segments of all the fights that we've seen in the previous videos, we do not do 1.7 million damage with the Tempest League team. Not the way we were running it, um, as it was you know, with Protector Trainee and you know, a random other support unit kind of thrown in there. Uh, it's, it's actually impossible. So, we're going to have to change the team up just a tad. But it should still work the way I've built it. And it looks like this. So, Protector Shuna, she's the stacking, stun strike, and pierce power. It, it's what you need for this stage. I, unless you're running like a whole whacked out EX team, that's what you gotta do. We're still using Gopta, we're still, use, still using Water Shuna, and we're still using New Shuna. So it is 90, 85%, 75% a, a Tempest Elite team. You know, because we don't have Protector Trainee. But we also have Light Raphael, who is the primary nuker. And we have Light Lumi, who is the secondary nuker. And also has that pivotal essential for this stage only. Um, the 100%, the seal of the stun, right? Stun resistance. Because Veldora has guaranteed stun resistance, 100% right here. But you need to stun him. That makes Lumi necessary for this team. Unless, again, you're running a bunch of wanked out EX characters that just do 10 million damage, which we're not doing. So we need her. Plus, she's an orb changer. And Shuna's an orb changer. And Gob's an orb changer. And technically, this Shuna is going to orb change if we have Shuna, Shuna, and Gobta up front. And we have an alt swapper. So, I mean, in theory, this should work. How well does it work? Well, <laughs> I don't really know, but we're going to have to make one small substitution here. We're going to take out Dark Millum, and we're going to put in Water Soe, because this will ensure that we will have 36 points on turn one. And this stage starts with a special convert, which we don't have Soka. We don't have, like, Wind Hanada, but we do have this Shuna, who costs 35 points, and she can certainly change those two orbs to blues, if the front line is what we need it to be. So that's how we're going to get around this. So let me do this and we'll bring you back. Okay. 36 points because of Water Soe. We will make sure that the entire front line is Tempest Elite. Or at least we can swap out like this unit right here. Or a Raphael. And that will guarantee us. And now we can use the full convert. And since we're on a stacking team, it means we're going to have a lot of points. So <laughs> we can now bring in Light Lumi for Gobta, and now we have protect two turn protection traits on both Shuna's support and Lumi's support, and this will ensure that we can do good damage and we can get as much protection gauge as possible in this setup. Now it'd be great if we could use all three of the big three units, you know, we took out Dark Millum and that way we would have two stacks of protector, but that's a good hand right there, and I will not really complain. So let's use Lumi's orb change right here. And then we'll bring in Light Raphael for, yeah, Water Shuna. And we'll start stacking with these characters. Now, Shuna stacks Pierce Power and Stun Strike. Raphael or Shuna is going to give Pierce, right? And then the Stun Strike will come from Raphael after we use Lumi's skill, which will lower his stun resistance down to zero, making us able to stun in the first place. But we need points, and look at that. We're going to have 129 points here. We got two stacks of Shuna, so we're going to get three stacks of this on our characters, and we're really just going to be nuking with the light units. That's the important part. But, like, look at this hand. This is a terrible hand, right? But we can make it work, right? We, I mean, we could... We have the units to be able to do this, right? We could use this skill, we could use Gopta, and we can use Shuna, right? And that would change all of this. Or... Or we put these stacks on now, and then flip both the light units out, bring in the Tempest Elite units, and then just use Shuna again. Like, that. that is why I, Shuna can be good if you build a team mostly filled with Tempest Elite units. So we'll take you out, 
and we'll take Raphael out, and look at that, an entire hand of Tempest Elite. Whoa, look at that. A full hand of blue. Perfect. It's not the units that I want them to be, but it gets me a full hand of blue and 220 skill points and another stack of Shuna. And that's what's important. And that's what makes Shuna very powerful if you build a team tailored to her skill set. That is the important part. So now she has an alt, but we also have an alt swapping unit. Oh, perfect. Okay. Hey, look at this hand. We've got orb changes. Perfect. All right. Uh, let's take Shuna out and let's bring, you know, Raphael in. Uh, I meant Water Shuna. And then let's take out Gobta and we'll bring in Lumi and we'll put another stack on him. And we got a full hand of blue. So now that we have a butt ton of points, it really becomes a non-issue as to, you know, what kind of hands we actually get. Because we know, no matter what, we can change them. We just have to take out the light units, bring in the Tempest Elite characters, and orb change. And we might get alts for them, and, you know, that's going to suck. But there are ways around it. So, look. Another stack. Oh, my God. All right. Um... You know, this isn't a, a great hand. We do have points, but I don't want to swap out these two characters because I want them to get alts. Uh, unfortunately, Lumi doesn't have an orb, so she's going to orb change and she's actually going to go away. So, boom. Right there. Okay. Uh, Gobta will come in for Lumi. Perfect. We'll alt swap this again. We'll use his orb change. Boom. And then we'll bring Water Shuna in for Gobta, and we'll use her orb change. And because we have so many points, like, we can do this. And technically, right now, like, I could use the Pierce Power and the Pierce Rate, because it's everybody. And this 30% Pierce Power, because it's temporary, it would stack with what we've been getting from Protector Shuna, which is now 50% Pierce Power. So, for three turns, this would be 80% Pierce Power, which is very powerful, right? But I want to use that when we have also Lumi up front, because she will benefit also from this. So, um, the... Overlord Shizu that we've got underneath the EX Shuna will give us protection trait on every two turns. So turn six is coming up. It will cover this little amount that we're missing right here, and we'll get two more stacks. And now Raphael has an ult. Perfect. I love it. And look at this hand. I love that too. So let's use an orb change here. Boom. Let's get um, you out. Actually... Uh, yes, yeah, so let's get you out of here for Water Shuna. We'll use the Pierce Power because it lasts for three turns, and it's and, you know it's fun anyways. And then we will get uh, the new Shuna, the, well, yeah, the EX Shuna out of here. Boom, and now we have points. We will alt swap away. We will use an orb change. Perfect. And that will then allow us to continue to stack on the two characters that actually need it. Because, you know, stacking on EX Shuna doesn't really make too much of an impact, right? She's physical, he's got physical resistance, she's an AoE, uh, she's lowering, what, physical? Or she's she's doing something with physical debuff. Uh, Raphael and Lumi are not physical, so her alt means nothing. I need alts with these two characters right here in two more turns. And that's exactly what we're going to get. And this works out. Because Lumi doesn't have an alt yet. Raphael does. We have an alt swapping unit. Gobta's putting in work. Our Pierce power is looking pretty good. Look at that terrible, god-awful hand. <laughs> Can we do something about it? Yes. Is it going to suck a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. Um, but this, again, is, is the power. So, uh, Raphael has an alt. He doesn't need to be up front anymore. Right? So let's get him out of here. Let's bring in Shuna. All right, perfect. Let's alt swap Shuna away. All right. Lumi needs an ult. Lumi needs an orb. But hey, we have two orb changers here. All right, there's your full hand of blues. We have every base covered, right? We don't have to just rely on Shuna's orb change. We could, but it would mean a lot of flip flopping around and it would get a little bit hairy. And we do want Lumi up front, but she's not on Tempest Elite, so we would have had to use an orb change anyways, right? So there's no point in using, uh, you know, this 75 point skill when you could just use a 65, right? So this will get Lumi's ult, and we'll be ready for the nuke turn because we'll have the full stacks. All right, perfect. Maximum points. We got an EX alt for Win Shuna. Again, not that it really matters all that much, but it will definitely help. 
Now I just need to make sure we have an orb. Perfect. We have an orb for Gopta. That's all I that's all that really, really mattered in the end. So Gopta comes out for Water Shuna. We will use her alt buff. Boom. That's 70% alt damage. We will bring Light Raphael in for her. And now we can put one more stack on everybody. Boom. And this is now how many stacks? Nine stacks of Shuna. So extra 90% pierce power, 90% stun strike. We still have the extra 30% pierce power from EX Shuna, at least on Raphael. So it's actually 120% pierce power. So that looks very nice. And then let's go ahead and apply the light buff plus the stun evasion down on Valdora. So now we can stun him, and now we will. And boom, and boom. So we've got everything we possibly can. Um, the temporary pierce buff is still on Lumi as well, so she also has 120% pierce power. And, I mean, we're looking... We're looking fairly good here. Um... Well, hold on a second. Uh, eh. Nah, it didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. Alright, so it is what it is. So, let's just send this alt first, the AoE. Um, again, she's lowering physical resistance. Doesn't matter because her two nukers are not physical. We'll send Lumi, who gives extra pierce power. And then we'll send Raphael as the main damage dealer. And then we'll follow up with Lumi Orbs. And this should kill, hopefully. 107k, not great, don't care. Lumi, yeah, we'll watch it. She should do... Ooh, I don't know how much she's going to do. Like 600? Maybe less? Uh, 890, perfect. All right, well, he's dead. There we go. Raphael's going to do a little bit more because he's level 120. Um, he is skill-fused as well, which means that Light Lumi got the stun strike because it used to be just selfish buff. For Raphael, uh, a 907. There we go. So, we still use the Tempest Elite team to, you know, quite quite a lot of efficiency, right? It's not like Water Shuna and Gopta didn't do anything, right? We use their orb changes. We use the alt swap. We use the Pierce Power buff. We use Shuna's alt swap. Like this is a this is a fantastic example of taking the new Shuna and the new Gopta, and while not having an entire team built for Tempest Elite, we have a different protector. And we have two primary damage dealing units who can also bring something else to the table, being orb change and being the stun and pierce and all that. And you can make an efficient team to clear a very difficult stage. It, it you know it does require light loomy, right? And, and the dupes definitely help, and the support slots 100% help. But I mean, if I were to try and attempt to bring the bog standard Tempest Elite team into the stage straight losses. Like, we would not be able to win. It does not output that amount of damage. But you can fiddle with some units here and there and make it work to your advantage. So, is Tempest Elite Shuna good? Yeah, she's fairly generic, right? Pierce buff for everybody. Pierce uh, rate for everybody. Her orb change, as shown, you can work around. Right? And as long as you put a few other units with her, Water Shuna is still a good unit, right? She's still fantastic after a year and a half or something like that. That's why I always, you know, talk, tell people to get her with, you know, random coins or tickets or whatever. She is a good pickup. And she will remain a good pickup. And then Gopta is a good free-to-play unit, right? I could have brought Soka here. I don't know if she would really help us that much because we, need the alt, we needed the alt swap a couple of times to make this work. So Gopta provided a lot. And it helped us get a lot of stacks of Protector Shuna. I think this was a pretty good success. I didn't actually expect to do this on the first try. I thought this team was going to fail, because I didn't think it had enough. But I was proven wrong. So there we go. Uh, World Tour is over for the Tempest Elite team. Um, pretty successful. The only stage that we really had troubles on was the Earth stage, because we are not defense-focused, and they do way too much damage. Uh, but otherwise, I mean, yes, we were able to clear all of Conquest. We were able to clear all of Tempered Edge with some substitutions here and there. And that's all that you can really ask out of a team, right? You want them to clear the, the content that exists in the game. Can it do it? Yes. So let me know what you guys think. That's it for me. Take it easy. And I will see you all later.